Hey guys, Adam here, back at you with another video. For the next three days, I'm gonna be on the Colorado River with my buddy Rod Davis, and um, we're gonna do some hiking. So already had a wonderful night, our first camp. Really nice and shaded. Unfortunately, there was a whole lot of mosquitoes. I mean, they were biting through our clothes. That was the only bad part of the night. Otherwise, it was a great time. We got about 10 miles to do today. We're gonna go to a campsite called Me3. And it's a, at the mouth of a canyon that we're going to hike tomorrow. We're going to do a layover day. So we're going to spend two nights at this next campsite. And um, I haven't been on this part of the river in nine years. And I've got some better cameras than I had nine years ago. So I figured it was time to update my video of this uh, section of the trip. Horse Thief and Ruby Canyons. It's about 30 miles total. And um, yeah, that's what we've got going on. So I'm going to make my way down the river for about the next nine and a half miles to find camp and uh, enjoy the beautiful scenery along the way. Catch you guys down river. All right, we just saw two bald eagles. So for the trip, we've got um, a, a turkey we saw right what to put in we saw a couple of great blue herons bighorn sheep and two bald eagles so far and um, I've got about maybe seven or eight miles to go yet for today it's beautiful out here We're getting into canyon country, as you can see behind me. The uh, landscape's changing into more of the Navajo sandstone formations. We're just a couple miles from camp, and we're going to set up, spend two nights, and uh, enjoy the great outdoors. All right, it's the end of the day. We're at camp, campsite me for, and uh, it's a steep climb up to camp. Um, no shade up this one. Uh, looks nice and flat, and again a little buggy. So uh, yeah, time to set camp up. All right guys, this is our camp here. View, I'll give you 360 a camp. Here we go. Not too shabby, right? Well, we're all set up. And uh, last night, mosquitoes were really bad. And we kind of read that they were gonna be bad at this campsite last night this campsite we heard nothing bad about bugs just that there isn't any shade well guess what the mosquitoes are freaking worse i mean uh rod's got a mosquito net on first time i've ever used it i only have i don't know 25 30 bites so far but it was time for the head net 
So yeah, that's what we're fighting up against. And we're thinking that it's gonna get worse before it gets better. Last night, maybe around like seven or eight o'clock, it got cool enough where we got some relief from it. But uh, anyway, we're paying the price for this beautiful scenery. Um, and hopefully we'll be happy in about two hours when it gets cool and these bugs hopefully leave us alone. All right, guys, it's day two on the Colorado River. And we had a nice night last night after all the mosquitoes went away. It was enjoyable. Stars were just perfect. Not a cloud in the sky, no moon. So, yeah, the sky looked just like the brochure shows you. So we're uh, having a layover day today. And we're going to take a hike into Me Canyon. We'll never get to the end of it because it goes too many miles. I've never been there. And um, yeah, the scenery is just incredible. As you can see behind me, I'm in a canyon desert paradise right now. Enjoy nature to its fullest this weekend. I actually during the week. Um, so yeah, I will uh, check back in with you guys. Um, and this is what it looks like out the front windshield. Right, we're at the uh, Mee Canyon Trailhead, getting access right off of the Colorado River. And uh, this is a 360 view of the trailhead here. And this is up Mee Canyon. We're gonna follow that trail and see what the desert has in store for us. Just started our venture into Me Canyon, and it didn't take long for, before it got got spectacular. I mean, look at this scenery we got. Onward and upward. Well, as you can see, we're deep in canyon country right now. Uh, continuing on the Me Canyon Trail. And we're crossing the uh, Canyon Creek bottom right now. We traversed it a couple times. And this is, uh, when it's raining, this thing's gotta be moving pretty good. Check it out. So we've uh, run out of trail. We don't know where the hell to go from here. Um, so actually some water down here. We're trying to find the trail. And we'll let you guys know if we do.
All right, we're taking a breather. We're actually at the end of the line for this hike. Um, we hiked for about an hour and 40 minutes, and a man, the sun was just beating on us, and I get overheated, and I need to sit in the shade and relax for a little bit. We're running out of water, so we're gonna head back to our mosquito-infested campsite. We can't wait. We'll have about two and a half hours of misery before they leave, but man, we are deep in the wilderness and canyon country and it is just spectacular in here. Super clean, very little sign of any sort of trace of man at all. Wonderful stuff. Finishing up our hike for the day. Meat Canyon was spectacular as you saw. And we're heading back to the Colorado River, back to our campsite. We're gonna relax and uh, fight the mosquitoes for a bit. And then um, have a nice fire, have some dinner, cocktails, the usual. And then tomorrow we'll be paddling on. Catch you guys later. Thanks for coming along on the hike up Meat Canyon. Again, day four, our final day on the river. Uh, we had a wonderful layover yesterday and you saw how beautiful Me Canyon was. Um, but once again, beautiful blue skies, not a cloud in the sky. Four days, not one cloud, not one raindrop. Light breeze, perfect for the desert. Sun strong, I will say that we did a lot of sweating and we used a lot of sunscreen over the last couple of days. We've got 13 miles to go today. Our longest day, um, we'll be taking at, at, at Westwater and uh, beautiful canyons, Horse Thief Canyon, um, Ruby Canyon. I'll keep the cameras rolling for everybody so you can see all this beautiful scenery and canyon country. And without any further ado, let's get back on the water. Our final stretch of river begins for the day, 13 miles. Entering the Black Rock section of this river, and uh, this uh, this is a Venetia schist. This Black Rock, it's some of the oldest rocks on the planet, and uh, there's a couple of tricky spots here with the, with the eddies and rapids. So I'm going to have to really pay attention here and stay out of trouble. Put the life jackets on and um, going into Black Rocks. We've only got about four or five miles left to go, and this trip's gonna end. Um, it's been a great one, and we're just gonna continue on down the river through gorgeous canyon country. That's it, it's a wrap. This uh, awesome trip is done. 30 miles, four days. One day of hiking in the uh, canyons, wilderness, awesome. And um, yep, heading to the t uh, takeout. Be there in about ooh, two minutes. And then um, heading back to Eagle. Perfect weather, a little warm, but perfect. Not a cloud in four days and no wind. So you get sunshine and no wind on the water, you're doing darn good. Another great trip. Until next time, guys, be well.